My name is Natalia Jackson, reporting from Kids First, and today I am here at the Press Junket for the short film Unseen. Unseen puts the horror of child trafficking in the spotlight. Stay tuned for my full interviews with the director, producer, and actors in this film. Stay tuned. Hello, I'm Natalia Marie Jackson, reporting from Kids First, and right now beside me is Ryan Nicole Brown, who plays Carly, the lead character in the short film Unseen, which focuses on the horror of human trafficking and based off true events in Utah. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you so much for asking. And it's wonderful that you are doing fantastic as well. Mm -hmm. You did an amazing job. You are getting more well-known in the industry for your complex and powerful characters just like this one. What does this short film mean to you? Uh, this short film means that uh, we are shining a very important light on human trafficking. Um, and not just human trafficking itself, but the importance of uh, the conversational relationships between parents and their children. Uh, with the advent of social media now uh, and it having such a huge effect on children growing up, mm -hmm. I think that this shows that parents should be far more involved in uh, the relationships that their children hold in the cyberspace. I agree. I mean, the simple social media mistake that your character made in this film caused basically her whole life to change. And I was very intrigued to see what happened. And when I did get to see how you, at the towards the end of the film, you were scared. And I could see that through you. And it really woke me up, as I stated to everybody else, that it really brought my eyes open. And I was very inspired to see how this film really inspired a message towards me at such a young age. So I have to be careful about what I post on social media, how I interact with other people that I really don't know, which could really cause me my life at any moment. And I have a question. Can you please explain to us Carly's character for those who haven't seen the short film? Uh, Carly is a young teenage girl, um, your average teenage girl really, that is really trying to find her place in the world. Um, and she has, she sees the financial struggle that her single mom has on her shoulders. And uh, because she wants to help, she ends up uh, going and getting involved in uh, something that she really had no place being involved in in the first place. Um, but it's a young girl going through uh, this decision uh, with the best intentions um, that just didn't, uh, she didn't get the outcome that she was looking for. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's a main problem for most people on social media. They don't understand the consequences of what they may be doing. That's kind of definitely what happened to your character. You were trying to do a good thing, ended up not becoming what you expected. And your character was promised fame and fortune, mm -hmm. but unfortunately it didn't end like that for you, which was kind of sad, but also it was reality because it's kind of what happens these days. A lot of things have changed in our society, unfortunately. And now that anywhere you go, something can tragically happen and which is why this film is so important and really taught me an important message and I'm wondering as well how was it like working with Elizabeth and Isabella it was incredible working with Elizabeth uh, the director and Isabella um, my co-star uh, because I saw this incredible dynamic relationship between Isabella and Elizabeth um, my mom has always been around me my entire career uh, and has been on set with me pretty much everywhere I go and to see kind of a mirror of my relationship in someone else um, and, and two other people was incredible um, and I think that their love for one another uh, surpasses everything that they did behind the scenes but it shows on on camera how much they uh, care about uh, what it is they're trying to highlight along with that what advice would you give to young teens and everyone who's mostly on social media on their day-to-day -day life that don't know the consequences the piece of advice that I would give to young teens um, would be to uh, look up from your phone sometimes. The world that's around you is, uh, it's incredible. Um, and to also try and work on building the gap between themselves and their parents. You know, I know that a lot of times as teenagers, we grow up and we kind of think that we get to this place that we know everything, right? And then we forget that our parents literally went through a lot of the same exact things that we're going through. And just by talking to them, there are uh, a lot of mistakes that we don't have to make. So that if, so if we as children and as parents bridge that gap uh, amongst conversation and both know not going into the conversation being judgmental, but going in and really having open ears, uh, I think that there would be... Uh, it, this this world would be a, a, a bit of a safer place uh, because there's a lot more exchange going on and a lot mistake a lot of mistakes that don't have to be made. 
Definitely, I would agree with you. And speaking of this film, what what does this film mean to you? Uh, I think for me, this film means that we are bringing light to uh, one of the greatest misfortunes uh, in the world. Um, you know, there are 28 to 40 million people uh, that are uh, involved in uh, s slave trade slash human trafficking. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a multi-billion dollar industry, uh, which tells me that uh, there are a lot of people out there involved in this, and I think that the more we use our voices and our talents to bring awareness to this, uh, the those numbers will fall significantly. I agree, and the rise of social media, I told you, has given an advantage mm -hmm. to sex traffickers out there waiting and lurking, sadly just waiting and lurking at us to groom and sell us for sexual activity. And I kind of have taking a toll it's the film is definitely taking a toll on me really woke me up and thinking there's so much that i've learned off of this short film mm -hmm. that i didn't know before that all this information could be sent to someone personally that you have no idea who is no idea where they're at and my mom recently shared with me actually before i even knew about the short film that you have to be careful where you're going after school, where you're walking, when you're walking down the street to get to your aunt's car who picks me up. You gotta be careful who's watching. There's a lot of people out there who stay and lurk at you for about a week or two, getting used to what you do, mm -hmm. waiting to grab you and groom you and sell you, which is unfortunately what happens a lot around, just like you said, 28 to 40 million. Yeah. That's but it's like you're fortunate because you do have that mother that is having those conversations with you mm -hmm. to make you be aware of these things. Yeah. yeah. And I thank you for that because she has helped me definitely improve my safety around what I look around. She makes me every time that we go to, let's say for an example, we go to the shopping market. If I'm in another aisle, she always tells me, don't go, don't leave. I'm always looking for my favorite Oreos. She knows that. <laughs> and she always tells me, I'm going to be right behind you if you see anything come towards me because I don't want anything to happen to you and I want to make sure that you're in my hands and a lot of the related to that gun violence that's happening in our streets she doesn't want she's very stays local with me mm -hmm. at stores she stays with me for protection and before I have to say it wasn't like that but now since our society has totally changed we have to be like that a lot of the time we have to make sure that we stay with our parents stay in our circle and unfortunately that's kind of what I we have to grow up to learn and that's kind of sad definitely sad mm -hmm. so thank you so much for helping share that important message with me definitely woke me up as I stated before and make sure to go check her out as her lead character Carly in the short film Unseen thank you and currently beside me is Elizabeth Blake Thomas the writer producer and director of the short film Unseen which really puts the horror of child trafficking in the spotlight and based off true events in Utah how are you I'm always good, thank you. And how are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for asking. And that's wonderful to hear. I'm super glad that you're doing great, always. <laughs> that's awesome to hear. And I just want to say congratulations, first and foremost. It is simply amazing that you are a female director. We don't get to see a lot of those behind camera. Very inspiring. And, I mean, you've managed to do seven, seven feature films in the space zone of two years. That is Wow. How are you? Uh, I always start my sentences with the saying, yes, I'm exhausted. <laughs> always exhausted. But because I'm doing something I love, it doesn't matter. Mm, that's so sweet. I mean, you did amazing in the short film. How is it like getting to work with your own daughter, Isabella, and your her co-actor, Ryan? Well, the thing about uh, being a director is that you always find actors who are really good because then they make you look really good as a director. <laughs> so I was very lucky to have Ryan and Isabella. And I've obviously worked with Isabella a lot. Mm -hmm. And we have a very special, unique relationship which allows me to kind of push her into different spaces and different characters. And working with Ryan for the first time allowed me to experience um, somebody slightly older than my daughter. And to get them to work together was interesting to watch their dynamics wow that's pretty cool and speaking of your mother and daughter relationship i know you guys have your own production company called mother slash daughter entertainment i mean how did that come across your mind well i think because i work with her on everything it just mm -hmm. seems silly that we weren't then taking that to the next level and making it something official so we just did that oh wow very interesting and what 
I'm on a personal note, I would like to know, how did you get into directing? Was it something that kind of popped in your mind, something inspirational that made you want to become this, pursue this character? Well, I was always a theatre director. So when I was in England, that's what I used to do. I used to run a theatre company. And then when uh, my daughter started to be in the industry of film or TV, I learnt all about that by just being on set with her. So because I knew how to direct actors, and then I learned about the industry with her, I just put those two together. And uh, someone said to me that I should be a film director. So I said, OK. <laughs> well, you definitely chose the right choice because you were doing amazing in the industry. Seven feature films, as I said again, inspirational and wonderful and I think that the mother-daughter entertainment company has definitely put you guys two closer as she explained to me in the past interview and uh, to continue what was the purpose of this film well the biggest purpose was to create something that would start a conversation with people so mother-daughter entertainment is all about making content that matters and that could be just to make you smile and laugh because sometimes we need a bit of time to do that in this world or something educational and uh, something that could impact people and this is a subject matter that I believe needs to be a conversation. Yeah, and just like you were saying, you really take a woke on that. And the experience that I had from this film really gave me a first-hand look at how easy it is to get lured in by these sex traffickers who are just thinking nothing of you. And it really did, it really did take a toll on me thinking what I, what I post, how I post it. And just the other day, I was on Snapchat, you know, I just... Just a way to communicate, not really Instagram is not my thing, I would say, mostly for my mom to control it. And I came across this Walmart gift card and I thought, whoa, my mom can use this for so many things. And I had an upcoming baby shower for my uncle and I was like, perfect. I put in my information and after realizing what I've done, my mom came across, she was like, Natalia, do you realize that that information may be sent to somebody who wants you for a sex trafficker who's going to come to this area and may lure out for you where your school is, wait a couple of weeks, and then finally realize what your schedule is and take you? And I'm realizing, whoa, what I just did really could put me in a position where yeah. I could be taken away from my family, crying, know what I did. And then I finally realized... I'm so lucky that nothing happened to me within this month and I'm really going to pay more attention to what I'm posting and probably what I'm taking a handle on and I'm probably not going to do it again because yeah. unless, yeah. Good. So then you need to ask all your friends to watch the film. Definitely. I'm going to let them know because it really, a lot of my friends have social media purposely own their own social media accounts on Instagram and a lot of them don't know the consequences. I have a friend and I always tell her, don't post that, don't post that. And lastly, I want to say thank you so much for speaking with me, Elizabeth. This film really woke me up and definitely taught me an important message and getting to watch it with my mom really taught both of us what we have to post, what we have to learn from our consequences. And again, thank you and congratulations on your seven feature films in the time zone of two years. How inspirational was that? I mean, very inspirational. Thank you so much for seeing with me again and make sure to go check out her amazing work she's did on her short film, Unseen. Stay tuned and thank you. Thank you for watching. And remember, parents, a simple social media mistake can lead your children down the wrong path, never to be seen again. Child trafficking is rising. Stay educated and teach your children. Thank you for watching and remember, I'm Natalie Jackson reporting from Kids First. Be safe out there.